Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and plant up the rest of my squash. Now what I'm gonna be doing before I go ahead and plant up my squash, and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh some old soil. So right here is some old soil from my cabbage. And what happens is the roots are very, um, the roots are very bounded into this pot. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is refresh this soil. If you guys can see, the roots are seriously bounded up in the soil. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is break up the soil and as well, I'm gonna take out some of these roots, okay? I have my shovel here and I'm gonna go ahead and break it up. shake off all of that soil now it is gonna be a little bit more roots in here just take your hands and go ahead and break up that soil but before we ask to go ahead and get into this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video break up this soil. Now I hope you guys are not throwing away your soil. You can always reuse your soil, refresh your soil, and keep using it over and over again. Now you will have to probably purchase some type of amendments to go ahead and make sure that your soil still have enough nutrients for your plants, okay? And with, this is what I mean, see? Very root bound. put in a bag of the miracle Grow garden soil the tomato tone I'm only gonna do about two cups as well I'm going to add in the Job's organic blood meal I'm only adding in the blood meal because this soil has been so depleted from the cabbage and the cabbages pull a lot of nitrogen so I'm putting in here some blood meal and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a stir
Okay, and that's I'm it. I'm using for my squash. The size pot here is a five gallon pot. Now this is a nursery pot. You can use buckets or anything of the sort. Now I get mine, um, I got a lot of my pots for free at Lowe's um, and places like that, even actually local nursery, if they're gonna go ahead and give some of those uh, pots away as well. So always check around and see how you can find free things like this so they won't go into the land. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is fill up my pot. Now, you do want to fill your pot all the way up, but when you water it in, you want to make sure that you have a water line. So right here, this is a water line into your pot, okay? Sometimes the pot does not have it, but if it doesn't, please make sure that you create a water line. So when you water your plants, you don't waste your water and the water won't roll out of your pot, okay? So right here, I am gonna go ahead and plant up a green zucchini. Uh, what happened with this one here? I actually dropped it on my way, trying to carry too many things, but it is okay. We're gonna go ahead and still pop it right into this pot. We're gonna go ahead and make our hole. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of the Job's Organic Vegetable and Tomato. And I'm gonna give it a stir. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop in this zucchini. Give it a slight press. And off to the next one.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and water that in with the fish fertilizer. Now I'm only gonna use two tablespoons of the fish uh, emulsion uh, to my two gallon pitcher. So here is some of the squash that we have planted. We have the golden zucchini, another golden zucchini. And over here, we have the green scallop squash. And over here in this pot is the green scallop squash. Over here is the dark green zucchini. And this pot right here is the yellow crookneck yellow squash in this pot as well. Over here we planted up the Italian striped zucchini. And in this pot, this pot, and in this pot is a Cocozelle zucchini squash. Okay? Okay everyone, we're at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do have a great deal of more squash to plant up, but I'm, so I will be planting them somewhere else, but I will show you guys in a later video where I'm gonna be planting those at. So like I always tell you guys, remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye-bye for now.